Hey everyone, this is Lindy from Love Create Celebrate with another DIY project. This time I'm joining the DIY Mummy to share a spring project and I chose these super cute abstract painted pillows to make. For this project all you need is a few paint colors and some paint brushes as well as some plain pillowcases and I'll share some links in the description as to where I got those. The first thing you need to do is cut a piece of cardboard that will fit inside your pillowcase, just slightly smaller than the case itself. You can use an X-Acto knife down the center to make a bend and that will make it easy to put the cardboard inside. This will prevent any of your paints from bleeding through to the other side of the pillow. And now it's the fun part! Yay! You really can have full creative freedom here and do whatever you want with this piece. I started in one corner making vertical motions with my paintbrush, and then in the opposite corner making horizontal motions with my paintbrush. And then I started in a third corner with my lighter peach color and brought the colors together towards the middle. I wanted my colors to overlap rather than blend together, so I actually let the paint dry for a little while in between, and then I went back over top with the peach color again. And you can't just have one beautiful spring pillow, so obviously I had to make a second. The painting process for this pillow was very similar to the last one, except I also wanted to have some longer, more narrow streaks, so I turned the paintbrush on its side and did the same vertical motion. I really love this project. You can get totally creative, adding different paint colors if you want, different sized brushes, doing totally different patterns. You can make it your own by doing whatever inspires you, and in the end you'll have a super cute pillow. I wanted my pillows to be decorative, so I didn't worry too much about the texture, but if you want the pillows to be softer after the paint dries, you can water down the paint more and that won't change the texture of the fabric as much. When you're done painting, let the paint dry completely and then get out your iron and ironing board. Put your iron on the no steam setting and press it on different parts of the fabric for 10 seconds at a time. That will heat set the paint and protect it when you put it in the washer dryer. So what do you guys think of my new spring decor? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the description box for a link to the playlist that has a whole bunch of great DIY spring projects. And for more great DIY tutorials, visit lovecreatecelebrate.com.